A former New Zealander of the Year is taking a swing at the government's Billion Trees programme, saying it's going off track. Two-thirds of the trees funded through the $240 million grants programme are supposed to be natives, but anthropologist and environmentalist Damon Salmon says foresters are overwhelmingly using this fund to plant exotic pine trees. Logan Church reports. Dig, drop, cover with dirt, repeat. The Billion Trees programme is the brainchild of New Zealand First, with an ambitious target of planting a billion trees by 2028. But Dame Anne Salmond is concerned things are going off track. Well, I think the Billion Trees policy is great, um, and I think the promise to plant two-thirds natives uh, was a good one, uh, but that's not what's happening. From everything that's being said, it's at the moment it's 88% pine trees and 12% natives. But why is that important? Dayman says other countries are doing their own version of the Billion Tree Programme, including China and Germany. And she says they are taking a close-to-nature approach, where forestry is designed around its environment and often includes large numbers of natives. The whole policy is intended to tackle climate change and there's a global consensus that plantation forests, um, monocultural forests like Pinus radiata, for example, are not the way to do this. But natural forests um, sequester according to scientific articles recently published, 40 times more carbon than plantation forests, which are felled, of course. Dayman says that focusing on exotic tree species, such as pine, could also lead to more problems down the track. It's not only the case that we are investing in pine trees instead of natives, but the question is, are we going to be able to sell them? The stated intent of two-thirds natives should be adhered to. And I don't know how they've got to a situation where they've got 88% in pine trees. Um, it's obviously something is going wrong with the way that policy is being executed. But the Forestry Minister Shane Jones defended the programme in Christchurch today. He was in the city to announce funding to help two native planting and restoration projects in Canterbury. Oh look, I don't want to say anything uh, deprecatory of a personal nature about a famous New Zealander, indeed my old lecturer in 1978. But I think unfortunately her article represents a fresh wave of confusion. Uh, There are a whole uh, host of uh, waves, both uh, political, ideological washing along the political seashore that I occupy and unfortunately her uh, facts are not accurate. Shane Jones is confident that the native tree threshold will be met, but says the mood of the private market has an impact on how quickly it is reached. What we think we're doing is that we are expanding the size of the nation's lung to enable us to build a a bigger platform for sequestration to cope with the climate change journey. Now sure, I have a lot of affection for native trees, but the reality is people spending their own money will make a choice to favour exotics and the Crown can fill the gap with natives. It is taking a lot longer for landowners to step up to the plate, although they have a larger grant entitlement to plant Totara Pūruri Manuka, and most of the exotics are being spent to uh, effect catchment outcomes, uh, reduce soil consolidation, uh, improve soil consolidation, and actually very quickly turn around negative environmental outcomes. The government hopes to reach its billion tree targets by 2028. Mr Jones says they should be planting 100 million a year from 2020. For Checkpoint, call Logan Church 10 now.